Welcome to uh, this month's newsletter. Today is February 24, 2019. Looking at the Nifty, there's really nothing here. This is as flat as flat can get. Um, if you notice, we are in this congestion zone. Chicago just, there's really nothing. There's no momentum for this, which is, uh, which is very clear. If you go to the weekly charts, as I've been saying from the past two months here, um, when you have a flat Keijin, the prices are attracted to it. Look at, look at just how uh, nicely they have been attracting but now the interesting thing is going to happen is uh, you're going to be 26 days 26 weeks back you're going to start falling off these highs and as soon as it does that Chicago is going to start falling in uh, not Chicago but the Keijin is going to start falling in price so uh, you got to be careful here um, on the downside um, because uh, the support here is going to be falling down uh, if the bulls are in here they need to rally this up very fast um, to get the chart technically right. If not, you're going to have uh, if you're going to have the lower prices here with the uh, Keijin falling down. So uh, at this point, really, there is no impetus to go into this market here with the prices just going up and down. Uh, you need to break out of this range uh, to buy long or short. So uh, really, no need to be aggressive. Um, Gujarat Alkalis, uh, somebody asked me about this one, nice Chicago breakout here. Um, really nothing to do here except wait for another pullback. Um, she, uh, let's see, the key gen is here, it's going to start dropping again. So uh, if you're short, you take profits if it closes above the Tenkin, uh, you definitely don't want to see any close about the key gen in this one. Bharat Forge, also nothing there until Chicago breaks out from uh, the, this congestion area. Uh, there is a big Kumo here. Um, so you, it's going to go inside the Kumo where uh, it's going to be consolidating. Really nothing. I mean, most of the charts you're going to find are uh, mimicking the Nifty. So uh, you're not going to find good buy opportunities until, uh, until they break the trend or the congestion area. So this one again I would not be wanting to buy or short this yet Praj Industries looks okay to buy on the long side if it breaks the previous uh, uh, resistance area here as soon as it breaks this uh, the Keijin can start moving up um, and then uh, you'll have uh, uptrending support so at that point I wouldn't be afraid to buy uh, this one on strength about these highs Um, IDBI Bank again, nothing here. Um, notice that this was setting up as a as a breakout here, but you had to be careful anyway because of these Kumo shadows. So there is really no point to buy when you have a Kumo shadow here. Uh, so if you bought it here, that should have been your profit target anyway. Um, if you didn't, uh, you should have gotten out back here when it closed below the Kijin. So. Uh, Things like that, you got to keep keep a watch on these Kumo shadows, which can act as resistance. Uh, right now, on the short side, if you if you're short, you can need to hold the short. Uh, if they break down below this area, you could have uh, next leg down. But you are a little bit stretched from the Kijin. But uh, let's see, Kijin is going to start keep moving down every day because your low, your highs are dropping. So the support keeps dropping, but it could be consolidating at this point. It's just too stretched from the Kijin. And Tata Chemicals, uh, nice Chicago breakdown here. Continue to hold the short. Now, uh, if you were wondering why this didn't work back here, you had a nice uh, Chicago breakdown back here. Um, all you got to do is look at uh, the weekly sometimes to find the answers. And here's why it broke. It supported back here because you had a flat Seneca B. As you know, flat Seneca B is access support. So. This is what held the stock back then, but now notice uh, you have a trending Seneca B at this point. So that's where the bears could finally knock it off. You have a flat Seneca B here, but here's where the Kumo was trending. That's where they broke it down. So very finer things, um, very finer things, but you got to keep all those things in mind. Um, we go through all of that stuff during the course, which um, I will put down in the email when the next course date is. And here's the last one to look at bail. Um, 
this one uh, you could short it if it breaks below this trend line uh, you'll uh, especially below these lows you'll have the key gen and the tenkan then starting to point down and you, that's what you want for a short uh, short entry so nothing here to go long until uh, until they breaks this and then there's a very thin kumo here to break out of but at this point uh, the chances are probabilities are it's going to go down if they fail here and break this trend line that'll be it